Strap in, folks, because space tourism is no longer some sci-fi pipe dream. It is here, it is real, and it is making billionaires look like kids fighting over who gets the biggest toy rocket. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic are throwing down cash faster than you can say zero-gravity wedgie. Now here is the kicker. You do not even have to be an astronaut anymore. NASA used to train people for years. But today, if you got a fat wallet and can pass a basic medical test that says, yep, you will not faint from excitement, you can buy a ticket to space. That is right. No need to solve equations or eat dehydrated peas for months. Just sign a waiver, fork over hundreds of thousands of dollars, and hope you do not puke all over your seatmate. Studies have shown that experiencing the overview effect, that mind-blowing realization of seeing Earth from orbit, can literally rewire how your brain thinks about life. Imagine that. Some people go to therapy, others just yeet themselves 60 miles up to look down at the tiny blue marble and boom, perspective shift achieved. Pretty darn efficient if you ask me. But let us not kid ourselves. This is not a carnival cruise. You are strapped into a rocket filled with enough fuel to barbecue an entire city block. The ride is loud, violent, and about as smooth as riding a jackhammer during an earthquake. Oh, and weightlessness? Sure, it looks fun, but try drinking water while your face is floating away from your body. Good luck not looking like a flopping goldfish. Here is the deal, though. Space tourism is more than just bragging rights and overpriced selfies with the curvature of the Earth. Researchers are already looking at how these commercial flights could speed up innovations in reusable rockets, sustainable fuels, and even medical studies on human bodies in microgravity. Yep, your billionaire's joyride might actually give us new treatments for bone loss and muscle atrophy. Imagine that. Your overpriced trip might actually help Grandma walk better one day. So whether you think space tourism is the future of humanity or just rich people nonsense with a side of cosmic vomit bags, one thing is clear. The final frontier is open for business, and it is selling tickets like a theme park on steroids. Buckle up, because this ride has only just begun.